Samsung is from CVT. It's the latest from Jaguar, the XF. It's supposed to fight off with the E-Class and also the 5 Series. It doesn't really look like a Jaguar. Actually, from the side, it reminds me of the Lexus GS300. Let's check out inside. Okay, the interior is a bit cramped, some bit. I think the E-Class and the 5 Series is, has bigger interior. But there's something interesting about this car that I would like to share with you guys. When I start the engine, the aircon vent and the gear shifter pops up. Check this out. Ta-da! Cool, right? The XF comes with a touch screen panel, which is so not BMW and Mercedes. I think it's quite useful. Of course, if you eat goreng pisang, then you don't touch the screen because the screen will be dirty, yeah, of course. Anyway, uh, the audio can play AM, AM, FM, CD. Portable audio means USB, iPod, and any auxiliary input. I find it very useful and very easy to use. But of course, if you hate to use the screen, what you can do is like you can use the repeater buttons here. This area is for the audio, and this is for the aircon. As for the gear, it looks and it feels like the iDrive, but it's not actually. It's the gear selector, you twist. If you want to go, move into reverse, neutral, or D, you just twist. And if you want to go into the sport mode, you press and you twist. Of course, if you hate this, you can always use the shifter here. And I find this quite interesting, except it feels a bit plasticky. This is the 3.0 engine from Jaguar, which actually for source from Ford. Uh, it's powerful, but it's also quite thirsty. Whatever it is, it gives out that, that Jaguar growl which, which you will simply love. One thing that I would like to complain to Jaguar is the key fob. It's plastic. It's too light. It doesn't feel premium. And the boot. The boot is quite big, but it's not wide. You have to push your luggage inside for a family of four I think this should suffice okay let's drive this bugger it's quite smooth and it's quite quiet actually it's quiet interior the ride is not really that choppy unlike BMW you see that it's uh, between Mercedes and BMW engine the other two Germans have better engine than this car but Listen to the growl. Anyway, suspension wise, like any Jaguar, the car handles pretty well. It's quite difficult to upset the car unless you do something stupid. Now, even if you lift off and flick the steering wheel, the tail won't come out. Switch off the DSC and the tail will still stick to the line okay let's say you do let's say you do something really stupid like this nothing happens and the dsc is off so if you're an aggressive driver you can have serious fun with this car 